Hi, this is Mia. Very, very backlit. I don't know why. I mean, obviously that's like, oh, I used to, my old videos, I used to put up a piece of white paper on the, um, so it reflect, it was usually at sundown, so it would reflect the white on my face. So my face is brown. I am overwhelmed. I don't have much time. Um, let's see. <laughs> My friend is like using a female product that didn't work. It's not even something that I should laugh at. At least she was inside the house. Alright, so we're gonna do yoga here. Um, I have every computer. I've had so many computers out. I did my work earlier this morning. I'm calling it a day, no. I'm not really, but. I gotta move. I've been so restless. I've been doing exercises inside the bed. And that's what I used to do when I was a kid. When I was at. I was gonna say high school, but probably earlier than that, I was doing exercise <sighs> inside the bed. Like, uh, hold on. Let me move this sweater. You know what? I just get this. I gotta put this pants on my. I just get this sweater light on top of the pants. I don't remember what I said. Okay. So, something saw me drink water. I'm overwhelmed. I got up. Okay, so yesterday I did some billing. All I did, like, one bill. Um. I did one bill and I said, okay, tomorrow, someone told me to go home. So my partner's like, you went for a walk and you didn't bring the trash can back? I was like, yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of kids playing next door. I don't need to breathe their germs, first of all. Second of all, not just about the kids. I was walking back down the street hearing these kids playing, <laughs> these rich kids wearing like two shorts. Girls wearing shorts that are way too short. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, I was walking back, trying to super. If you're like me, you go outside for a walk. You're like you want to. Um, I gotta order a um, square reader. You want to. That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> Have some peace. Maybe you want to talk to yourself or pray. Get your head on straight. And you're like out there and there's all these people out there. And they're looking at you and you're looking at them and people are driving by. Okay, fine. This is not my property. This is a public street that I'm, that I'm walking down. It's not even a private drive. And even if it was a private drive, like my other place, the private drive is for all of the 21 houses that live there. And the people in the apartments next door. Let's see if I can brighten it up. So basically right now I'm straightening up the bed. Um, it's 5 o'clock. Or it's not 5 o'clock. It's 3.29 on Friday. My partners can come home anytime. And I don't like to. It's, it's fun for me to clean. I don't like to clean when he's watching me. I don't. I like to clean. But it's really hard for me to get anything done when there's someone watching me or the TV is right in front of our face. It's like, okay, the TV is right in front of our face. I don't, I, in order to go over here, I have to walk in front of it, right? So it's kind of annoying. Um, I went for my walk. Oh yeah. So I did, I came home and something told me to go straight in the house and don't go out until nine o'clock. Friday morning, don't go back out of the house. So I, I had this itch, and something's like, don't scratch, don't scratch. I was like, oh, I had like, you know my clothes, look how fat my arms are. So my clothes are too tight. I have that big coat thing on, I think. And I'm trying to s s reach my hand, like, from the top into my thing. Because I go right here, and you barely get the edge, and you need to be here, and you're like, ah. So, oh my God. I felt this 
in my heart to to go in the house and wake up in the morning and do the rest or do one more billing do billing until nine go to the mailbox at nine with the flag up and stick it in there and that's what went through my brain these are not very this is kind of big that was what went through my brain those are like these are range from 33s to 36 i'm not sure the 33s are gonna fit but they're going in this all smell like detergent there is no room in the drawer so I should take out my winter clothes. It's supposed to be a freezing morning today. So what happened? I ended up, um, I saw that you could use this for your mail. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not sure that I need more boxes, but apparently I'm not throwing it out yet. Our recycling is full. It's like overflowed. I will get these tissues ready. Why not deal with that box later? Get tissues ready. And you didn't appreciate it. I gotta order um, my rag liquid aminos right now. Um, let's charge the phone. Ugh. I ate those nuts that are from Target and target nuts are usually have the warning that has milk wheat um eggs on it so i just opened that mixed nuts yesterday and i'm wondering if that was what was causing me to have that itchiness on my arm my teacher in medical school one of my first teachers Dr. Zawicki, she had it, um, she had, kind of clean, you know what, I'm not going to wear small underwear, if I had to wash my underwear every day in the sink, and Dr. Zawicki had said when she ate chocolate, she'd get a rash right here, and it's really interesting that she said that, because she was like, yeah, every single time I try to cheat or something. Um, this has a hole in it. This is for the Forever 21 that was not Forever 21. It was like the cheaper version. I don't know what it was called. It's kind of like a Nordstrom rack, but Nordstrom. Like, in the mall they closed. I should, I think this is the only thing I bought. It's been my daughter in the store for so long. I don't know why I didn't buy more, but I didn't, I mean, what's it going to matter if I have one tank top or ten? You wouldn't see me wearing the same on every day, probably. But then I would have even more clutter. And I feel like I have a ton of stuff in this place. Like a ridiculous amount of belongings. So I'm going to take this towel. I get sweaty at night. And the, this is sweaty. The towel and the, or the sheets or microfiber or whatever. I thought they were cotton, like organic. And I was like, the tag says they're like polyester. <laughs> like either you got ripped off or you have a different set of sheets you forgot about. And this bed is like a foot, two feet thick. So it's like, you can't just easily buy the sheets. I mean, I guess you can, I don't know. Is anyone ordering on Amazon right now? Let's see if I can get the light better. Is anybody ordering on Amazon right now? I've heard, I'm hearing that, that even with Prime, I'm gonna climb up here and make this. But even at, with Prime, I'm hearing, and I haven't tried it because I don't have Prime that it's still taking people um, weeks to get there. Oh. It's like hair, my hair is like annoying. His hair is socially acceptable, so it's not that bad. I need to just change it. I want to change it so that I, I was going to. This, white blanket it's like it leaks like pieces of cotton like almost like little balls of toilet paper it's like this white blanket he bleached at one time i just think it weakened we think it weakened the integrity of the textile so i have all this it's like i should be vacuuming this this is ridiculous mia what in the world okay. 
And I feel like if you put, if that cotton stuff sticks to the sheet, and I can feel it. That's the problem. I can be like, oh my God, something's on my back. There's something biting me. And then it's like a piece of fuzz or a piece of hair. I'm like, being this sensitive is ridiculous. So yesterday I sensed that I should come back home because my arm was itching. And this is a really bad job on the other side of it. I will go over there and fix it later. And, um... I went home, I didn't take the trash, and I was like, nobody took the trash all day yesterday back. So I was like, you know what, I'll take it. I, today I took it. Got out early. I saw people driving, but I didn't really see people walking their dogs or anything yet at like 9. I didn't, so I did get my mail out. I looked at a billing page because I was using a different computer. Mine has everything I've been using. The page that I used had the procedure called that I used hundred dollars and the one the updated one which I found out this morning that I've been using because I started up my old clunkety computer was like 200 something dollars now just because I bill 200 something dollars doesn't mean I'll get it there's a problem with insurance and doctor's office that's their rate too that's not even my rate it is my rate but like my rate would be like sliding scale depending on and not trying to judge people but people that are literally have no income but the insurance could pay. So, it's not saying you're rich, rich people off. You just have to do what you could do. But the insurance gives you these rates, say $200. And if you ask for $200, you're lucky if you get $30. You'd be lucky if you get $18. But if you ask for 100 because you looked at the wrong piece of paper, they're not going to be like, oh, we usually give 38 for this. They'll probably be like, oh, they asked for 100 so we give them 12 You know what I mean? Like, it's... You ask for this and they give you, you ask for this and they give you this. It would be great if you asked for this and they gave you that because it's the going rate. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like for my business as a doctor, it's kind of like I, um, I, you go and say you're a store owner instead of a doctor and I go through your line and I get $10 with the produce ten dollars twenty dollars worth of uh, toiletries and ten dollars worth of nuts that's forty dollars ring up at the cash register you tell me forty dollars ma'am and I go no you know today I think I'm gonna pay you twelve and make that eight but I'm not even gonna pay you today I will pay you like I'm gonna send you you send me an invoice and I'm gonna say it's denied because I don't like the name that you call those nuts. Like, you call those nuts Filberts? I don't like Filbert. I don't like that name. So you're going to send me an invoice back that says, all right, we changed the name of the nuts. She gave us $0. We changed the name of the nuts. We charged her $40. They're still going to charge $40. And they might say, oh, shoot, I forgot that. Those weren't on sale that day. Those should have been 60 That's our fault. But we're just going to keep it the same. It's our loss. So we'll charge $40. They changed the Filbert to Hazelnut. I said, okay, fine. I'll take that. I was like, it's your store. You own it. Call it Filbert. Call it Hazelnut. Call it little circle round nuts that look like acorns. But because I'm in charge as an insurance company, I'm deciding that I'm not going to pay you. So eight months later, I'll finally, I'll send you a check because you had to resend that. It took you a while to have your, you had to hire extra people to go through all this stuff. It took you a while. And then I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm going to pay you $8 instead of $40. But I had to pay workers and cashiers and to keep the lights on. And I had to order the nuts themselves cost $8. You know, and I was going to make $2 off that. It's like I just, I spend more giving you, giving away this food than if I had, than you had never come to my store. And that's the problem. You spend more money and there's people that know how to make some money there's people that know how to make some money as a practitioner uh, small time private practice um so i did look at a thing for private practice practice to uh she's an indie she goes you could she goes she had people start for 90 dollars no it's like 60 so i don't know She's like, I started for three thousand dollars, my whole clinic. I spent, she spent three thousand dollars a year. I was like, she's like, whatever options was, just don't get malpractice insurance or something. 
I'm like, what in the world? And she's like, using Craigslist furniture. They had different stories, so I got confused. Craigslist furniture. Pay for your license. $50, she said, for LLC. So this must have been written a long time ago. It cost me $150 here to do LLC, and I didn't even sign up for a new one. I just converted my old one over here. That's ridiculous. Um, I didn't get any funding for any of this stuff. Activity report available. Remote technology for... Notaries. So they exhausted all of their resources. Zoom is not an allowable platform at this time. Not as secure. So what are you supposed to use? That sucks. Remote notary. So, Zoom. You could do the password protected Zoom, though. Okay. Here's a list of vendors with communication technology special, specially designed. Doc, verify, lender, close, notarize, notary cam, Basto, safe doc, Signix, wide world notary, or worldwide notary. Other platforms that are not specifically designed. For remote notaries that notaries may choose to consider include GoTo, Meeting, Microsoft Team, Google Meet, and Skype. Okay, I feel better now. I can afford GoTo Meet. I never tried GoTo Meeting. I can do Microsoft. What is it? Google? I can do Google Duo. No, Google. What is that? I can do Skype. Let's just see. I can do Skype. Okay. All right, so I got to get that practice going. <clears throat> so I'm basically a general store. I'm going to write down here Mia's Mia's general store. So I had a Holly Hobby. I'm going to write after Holly Hobby. I had a hobby, ho Holly Hobby general store like a you set it up. This piece of cardboard is shiny, and you put the you peel off those little stickers. They're not stickers, like decals, and you can move them around. Oh my gosh! I love if, if I could get a hold of that on eBay right now. I might be. I got twenty three cents in eBay cash. I might be buying myself a present, especially if it's at auction. <laughs> like if they're gonna send it in an envelope, I'd be willing to buy that uh, first class package. I'm even trying to think. Hi, hubby. So I'm a general store, and I always wanted a general store, and I also want to be the doctor in the back that has an office in the back. You know, people will call us quacks. Be that quack doctor in the back of a health food store. I'm down. I'm down for that. And the little bell, ding, 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 every time someone comes in. Ding, ding, ding. Um, I applied for a bunch of funding for all of my businesses. And I have yet to hear back anything from anyone. I've got a couple of automated responses. Let's, let's check my other email. Um, so I was talking about opening this clinic. I basically, the lady had $200 a month, $225 a month or something, or $275 a month was her first rent. And her second one, it's like a closet somewhere, her second one was, the, the new rent was $475, or $425, sorry. So my closet in Portland is 475. That's too much. So these people, she said she was doing cash or out of network, but that she could do in network insurance billing. So let's just write that down. So low overhead. I'm just gonna say 275 a month rent. So it's a storage unit is like that, but it's not. I mean, it's not. But it's like that much space. You can have a huge space in a storage unit that doesn't have water or electricity. So like you should be able to get a, like a closet that has a bathroom that you can share with somebody. So I'm gonna look into that. Um, 
One, low overhead. Two, expenses low. So you say phone, fax, internet, and then software free. She made up her own EHR, which is electronic health care. It's really interesting. She may not have, it sounded really old. Like you could set up an EHR. Does it mean it's cloud protected? Maybe. Is it HIPAA? compliant is it if she doesn't do insurance technically but is it encrypted and all that stuff that's interesting to think about though because we were setting up documents and stuff uh, from the time we we're using epic where you could do uh, phrases and uh people you can make up your own abbreviation like i guess i don't know it's uh, a practice user dot something codes that would pull up some information so i gotta look more into that actually utilizing the stuff that i already have uh, today is the 10th. I have like 20 days, less than 20 days to do my EHR incentive grant thing. I don't think it's going to be qualified. That that chunk of money would be a miracle right now. Like, I kid you not, it would be the miracle of all miracles. I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is right now. Um, <clears throat> it would have kept, I was depending on it to keep my clinic open and it did not happen. And I'm very disappointed in the program. I do have this on my iPad. So the name of the, um, it's my mouse. My open mouse, I cannot donate it. The name of this article is, let's see, uh, it might not be on here. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Um, so it's on idealmedicalcare.org. And, okay. So her name is Pamela Wibble. Like what? Like Bible with a W. <clears throat> MD. And it just basically says open your clinic for $3,000 or less. Right, and then I'm gonna scroll back down to this guy. This lady said her husband worked at SCORE, or volunteer SCORE. Well, they're doing some prep to try to help another doctor, to help a doctor. Is her husband, South Dakota. Dumpster diving for office chairs, abandoned house, plasma center, found some amazing medical equipment. So let's say dumpster diving. Make sure you sanitize that if you can figure out how the heck to buy sanitizing wipes. Sanitizing sprays, they're all sold out. How are you supposed to maintain, like you, like, on a normal day, if you don't have the appropriate equipment to keep yourself and your clients safe, you have to shut your door. And the government is not assisting us. I'm hearing packages being seized, masks being seized. People are having their stuff rerouted to New York. Somebody said they had, they're like, oh, was it masks? Is it, are they diverting? Are they like x raying or something? Like, I added the x ray. Are they like the government like going through all the mail and sending all the medical supplies to New York or? Like, and they're like, no, they were video games. <laughs> they were like laughing about it. Always don't you beware of used needles should be discarded in the red biohazard containers. Recently took some teenage into a burnout house in Washington State on a road trip and discovered this. Oh, I'm about to watch that video. So out of network. Somebody is writing in all capitals with a period in between every word or every two words. Oh my gosh, that is really hard to read. Do you have to yell at us and speak to us like this for a whole pair? A graph. Oh, 
Or this lady's in Eugene, Oregon. I want to open a clinic, but I'm not a doctor. Also, I wanted to be able to have employees. Is there a way that I can incorporate? I'm willing to work and build under their NPI. I don't understand that. Okay, how many... Can a physician assistant open an idea clinic? They can't. They can open a clinic, but I think they they would have to be the clinic owner, and they can't practice it without a doctor. She's just a nurse. Someone wants this army nurse. Okay, there is a, there is one link I would like to link on to that house that's burnt. If I could pause it, I would do that. So, I, I decided to pray about it. Dear God, universe, inner self, me as inner self, I ask you to guide me to absorb goodness, happiness, joy, revenue, income, wealth, without greed, but with caring and self-sufficiency in mind, as the world is very expensive. We've gone months some of it borrowing money from others or credit cards without needing to, to not pay our rent, which is a miracle in itself, considering I haven't gotten any money or any clients, really, no new clients, no new business out in Maryland. Maryland has chewed me up and spit me out already ten times. Universe God, inner self, I ask to guide me to make a list of properties, both residential, commercial, and bonus residential and commercial that I could lease following these guidelines of low overhead, which was our number one, one of our number one. There's two things we learn in business class. Low overhead, especially your first few years, and Low, it was like I totally like space because I was in this prayer meditation state. Low overhead and you need to start your clinic with a chunk of money so that you can do 6 to 9 to 12 months like an emergency plan or emergency say um, what is that? What is that D Ramsey? Emer emergency savings. Uh, it's not really emergency savings though. That's just, that's emergency savings like 2000 minimum one to two thousand minimum the six the three six nine let's say nine months expenses and their bank account for both your business and your home and you have that emergency fund for car repairs having to move out of your apartment whatever it is god i ask this to come to me as I make this video that I want to post with yesterday's videos that's taking a lot of memory so that I can buy the supplies and afford the printer and the paper and the computer that I need so that we can afford to move to a different place. The law of attraction is true. It works. 
if you are attract negativity and you're fearful, like I often am, then it's not that your higher power isn't keeping you alive. You get a lot of You attract the wrong thing and you get attracted to the wrong thing. Jesus name amen. I was watching on Joyce Meyer about she said she wanted to pray that nobody gets any of her people, their followers or partners don't get sick and that if they lost their job that God will provide. And it's like we, we say we saw some or I saw some comments. We, we could say that. We want you not get to get sick. I saw some I saw some comments where a lady was saying that she was recovering from COVID. And another lady was a nurse working too hard. She had God's strength to keep going, going, going to work every day. Note, I don't know why nurses have 12 to 24 hour shifts. That just weirds me out. I did shadow a doctor in the hospital in perinatology. That he did have 24 hour shifts once a week or once a month. I feel like it was once a week. I don't know when it was. 24 hours. And he had to do his day shift come to work early in the morning and when he'd, he'd grab his lunch pot, box and his coat that's why I like how guys are simple they, their, their wife gave him a coat and they have a lunch box and you can go to um the other part the hospital instead of the clinic walk over the sky bridge and then work for 24 hours like what 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Something like that. I, so that's more than 24 hours. Oh my god. No, that's only 12 hours. So his 24 hour shift would be 7 that night to 7 the next night. Yeah, that's 24 hours. Phew, gosh, I gotta even keep it straight. He had like an office with a bed. There were like beds in the inner hallways near the bathrooms. A computer, you have to camp out there with your lunch. <sighs> And then your residents and stuff were in the, um, like, in their own station. It can be a little bit different spot than the nurse's station. Because everyone needs a computer. And I, I saw one of the resident things, like, snacks, snacks, snacks. I was there on Valentine's Day, I believe. I don't think it was the day before. Cause there was a lot of franticness in the air. Valentine's Day, there was the doctors that were like, oh my God. It's like they saw a ghost almost, like, they're, they're just like, Oh my god, I didn't get like I didn't get anything for my wife. I didn't get anything for my girlfriend. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't go home with that. I can't go home empty-handed. And they're like, what's open right now? Like, I was like, wow, that's a real thing. You see that on TV? I did get a gift this year for the first time from a partner, and it was a flower, and it flew off the end of my thing one day, and the pot and the plant and everything exploded, and I'm salvaging it. It's like. I saw the price on the bottom, which I didn't know. <laughs> See, like, this is expensive. I got so bad. The one time, like, you don't believe in holidays, and I whined about it, and you went and got me something. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's still alive. It's still green. <laughs> oh, my God. We need help. What we need is a flower pot. It's a dirt, whatever you get for lilies, or lilies, orchids. Um, Joyce Meyer was talking about having more faith or having more not faith like you, like if you're being forced to pray more you're getting s strength and faith is not the word but that's what's coming to mind right now so basically you're getting stronger and it's like uh, as you feel like People don't like that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. People don't like saying that. Some people I talked to recently, because like, I think it's because we're too old. I think my boyfriend said that's for, oh, <laughs> for like teenagers or something. I don't know. But, I mean, this COVID I hear damages the lungs potentially permanently. So I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's a feeling that I'm trying to speak about this strength and the spiritual path. Because my spirituality, I had to turn away from, turn off Joyce Meyer for many, many years because I had not one in my mind. My mind was going to like, she was the God, like, oh, you know, and all of the letters, they were cute. My son, 
this someone's son thought that Joyce Meyer wrote the Bible. Like, do you know who wrote the Bible? Yes, Joyce Meyer. And like, this is like, I do have Joyce Meyer Bibles. I do have her words all over my house. I have sold her books that I've read um, that are good. They're good. The novels were good. Hard to put down. The nonfictions were good. Um, ex I, except for one of her first bestsellers, which was, um, I don't know why I could not read it. Somebody stole it. One of the pastors of her church stole my book. They're like, and I know, I, like, she was a clean freak. She's like, I know I have your book at my house. I just don't feel like giving it back yet. Um, not Beauty for Ashes. Someone lent me, the other pastor lent me Beauty for Ashes. I did read that. Uh, I don't remember. That was 2004. Uh, my brain was scrambled. I read it cover to cover. Um, what did I... And I saw her TV programs at the same time, so she would discuss things. Sometimes, like, keep it simple. You discuss four things, like I said in my story time yesterday. But I, I can't think of the words. I can only feel it. I can't even, I don't even visualize it. I feel it in my heart, and it's really difficult for me to explain it. The other day I had the video that I think that's the one I'm going to be posting now. And I had the story time. Let's see if I can find a list of... It was like I went for a walk and I had this... this I have a bunch of notes from webinars all over. I don't even think it's in here. It might be in the other notebook. Okay, this is from today. This is a doula list. So I said, inner hearts, communication, spirit, universe, God, that's one, all one. And then, okay, so inner hearts is one, communication is one, spirit, universe, God is one, and I have a heart adventure of the life in uncertainty. So I wanted to write a novel or a short story, and I wanted to incorporate my life into the story, make it, make it come true, visualize, manifest keep the thoughts it's like and it's like you just reach it's like somebody it's like almost the opposite everything is frozen like on hearthstone and it's like you put a hat dagger in and it spreads like you ever drink water that's not room temperature or not air temperature and you can feel it either hot or cold going down your esophagus and you're like or not your esophagus sorry yeah your esophagus i was like you're like, that doesn't happen to be all the time. It only happens to be sometimes, and I'm like, wow, I can feel that. <sighs> Go to my stomach. That's a weird, a weird sensation. Well, oftentimes I don't even notice, even with cold stuff. We have an ice cube tray that smells like fish. Uh -uh, I might not be doing ice cubes for indefinitely. We have a second ice cube tray, but <laughs> that was nasty. You didn't make it for the plant that needs ice cubes. Um, so I ended up having these four things and I wanted to focus on them because I want to try to keep things simple but you know I like it like oh I'm just gonna finish this up oh I'm just gonna talk about this for a second and then I explode I have a lot of ideas I have my biggest issue is capital not having money to do my ideas not having money to buy a house it takes money to save money too so people there's old people that have their houses and their couches and their decorations and them and their husband husband bought the house had a six-figure income they had a job as a teacher or, or an accountant and they had their you know sixty nine thousand dollar year income their kids went to private school and they had bought the house in the 80s and the house is worth millions of dollars now and they only paid thirty five thousand for it and it was a big house in the 80s and all this in waterfront property and all the boats and stuff that go with it and the sailboats get a new car every few years when needed or use good news used, used car and you see these people wearing clothes like oh I don't go shopping much once in a while I go to their store and you see them drive a nice clean car and you're like they're at home budgeting their money going to buy food they have a retirement account their husband died they have their husband's retirement or their not their dowry but their inheritance and they have this house that they have to pay taxes on that's paid for and you're just like I see this a lot anywhere I am I was like wow I'm jealous well I'm I guess it's a word envious while I'm envious of you. What do you do when you're envious or just doing that group class? Well, sometimes you could just, if they're a doctor and you want to be a doctor and you're envious, then you go to school and you be a doctor. And Envy, with the class that I took, I'm sorry I don't have the name of it, talked about these emotions and that you get these emotions. 
you're not supposed to be like tsk tsk envy jealousy anger pity you're supposed to say okay how can i use jealousy if my partner is spending too much time in a truck alone in the woods with a cute 21 year old who likes to smoke pot and has bubbly personality and big cleavage like you would be jealous and you might say um i feel uncomfortable with you or can you like quit your job or you could be like i trust you or you could be like i'm i feel this way i don't know why i know why but i'm not making myself feel this way that is what's attached to my heart which is attached to the words that we use as language as we talk as i heard the cardinals this morning chirping i said god I didn't do that on accident this didn't happen on accident they're communicating we're communicating whatever it takes and i need to chance um trademark my name for my clinic um trademark let's gonna put it on my to-do list trademark name or a trademark um saying so and paypal credit i don't understand it peace i gotta find out about my ebay mastercard that i don't know where that is uh, if i ever got it it's probably at the house in portland peace guys i'm gonna go ahead and post uh, both both of these videos bye